that is on some sort of way encouraging because whenever the price is doing such a thing and the volume is actually dropping we can see on the charts that some move is preparing to happen very soon welcome back to crypto wealthy channel guys i hope you are well we didn't see each other for already two days because we let the bitcoin do its thing to see where is it going and at monday today start with the new week we're going to hit the road and see what the bitcoin must do in order to see the new prices the new highs and the bullish momentum and now let's get started So guys, we are standing here on one daily chart and as you can see, I did put those lines over here or let's say the tunnels, which is green, red and the yellow one and also this blue one, which represents a level of resistances and support that the Bitcoin must break on the way to the upside in order to see some higher prices and also the new bullish momentum. And if you can see uh, this uh, yellow one is actually representing the level of support of uh, 58 to uh, $60 level of support uh, on the chart, on daily chart or even on weekly chart. Now, the thing that you need to understand over here, we are still not bullish on this uh, channel or on this chart that you are watching over here. Many YouTubers, as I can see, whenever the Bitcoin is uh, doing some sort of a spikes over here, as we can see on the chart, uh, they are bullish. Then when the Bitcoin is dropping, then they are bearish. So yeah, we're not going to do that. We are bearish on this channel or bullish until a uh, specific turnover happens on the markets. So the first thing that we need to watch is the weekly chart. I'm not going to start the video without weekly chart at least every single week we need to check the weekly chart because without weekly chart we cannot do technical analysis properly. If we zoom in over here we can see that on weekly chart we are still declining from 20 exponential moving average and $7,400 level of resistance. I did mention in the previous videos that these levels until we break the $8,000 we cannot be bullish. We have a few reasons to believe that that's let's say the bullish momentum which will happen afterwards after we break those levels but before that I cannot really be bullish because we do have a lot of resistance on the way to the upside and now let's see which resistances we need to break in order to see such a moves. On weekly chart over here we can already see that the Bitcoin is getting narrow around $7400 and today we actually opened the new candle over here. It's still small, it's still not developed yet but uh, as we can see over here the price is still st in stagnation and even the volume in the previous uh, three candles over here is dropping as the candles are showing us pretty thin body. That is on some sort of way encouraging because whenever the price is doing such a thing and the uh, volume is actually dropping, we can see on the charts that some move is preparing to happen very soon. Now, I do have a gut feeling that the price will break on the way to the upside, but that's just a gut feeling and we need to do technical analysis and also trade by by the things that we are seeing on the chart and unfortunately right now we are seeing multiple level of resistances on the way to the upside and the gut feeling only cannot help but just to make this clear gut feeling is telling me by this uh, movement of candles and these bodies that we will have some green candle on the way to the upside. Now how big this candle will be we still don't know and if it's going to be. Now there is a big potential for actually decline and as we mentioned in the previous videos to test uh, 60 or 58 or even $5,500 level of support before we see some major breakout on the way to the upside because as we know halving we will not hit the road instantly. You need to remember that. So here on the chart, we can see 20 exponential moving average exactly on around uh, $7,700 together with 74. As we can see, pure resistance is standing over here. Also, we can see that the whole structure is sitting on $9,000 over here and that will be some of the key resistances on the way to the upside if we want to see the new bull market. Uh, but that level level is a little bit far away so we're not going to discuss about this level too much. The most important level that we're going to discuss about today is the 8 
thousand dollars which is uh, standing a little bit above uh, this 20 exponential moving average also if we bring the moving averages they're still in bearish movement so we cannot say that we are bullish until we see breaking up those major levels now uh, in order to confirm that that those levels are big we're going to switch on daily chart now we can switch actually on daily chart and see what is going on there in a little bit um, a lower time frame and we can see pure resistance from $7,400. No uh, YouTuber is mentioning $7,400 for some reason. I really don't know why, but we are getting a uh, resistance there pretty hard. Now, the thing that we need to understand about $8,000 is the moving averages that are actually standing there purely with this level. And also, if we bring the Fibonacci retracement over here, we can see that 0.618% over here is standing exactly on $8,000 level of resistance and also many other indicators are showing us that as a very strong resistance as the volume of trading between that area of $7,700 and $8,200 but mostly $8,000. So it's very important to observe what the price is going to do now because I do believe that many traders are putting the sell walls around here and I still don't know if we do have enough money and <laughs> enough strength uh, for the bulls to push the price above this level so this is the reason on this channel why are we still bearish now the good thing is that the big move will happen very soon we can see a decline in volume over here every single day the volume is getting less and less on daily chart which is very important on daily chart those uh, such a thing are very valid and we need to observe them now the bullish thing that we discussed also in the previous video is that we are still above 20 and 50 exponential daily moving average which is going to give us maybe some push on the way to the upside the reason why we stagnate right now is because we are finding a level of support between this moving average and this $7,400 which is pretty narrow and this is the reason uh, why the big move will soon happen either on the way to the upside either on the way to the downside we will probably see now in order to be bullish as I told you we need to uh, find level of support on $7,400 then bounce back retest 80 we're probably going to have some struggle on the way to the upside if we're going to actually break it and once we break this level of uh, resistance over here we need to find level of support so the resistance is uh, becoming support and after that continue rallying on the way to the upside but after eight thousand dollars i do not think that we're going to have too much resistance on the way to the upside because this resistance here is for now the strongest one also many are uh, mentioning the halving which will maybe help maybe not i personally do not believe that uh, halving will help instantly because it takes time to actually see inflation uh, doing its thing in order to uh, see a less pressure on the bitcoin price that could uh, lead on the way to the upside and remember that the demand for the bitcoin needs to be the same or at least uh, bigger in order to see parabolic move which i don't say it won't happen i'm just telling you that it needs to be like that in order to see push it's just pure math nothing more nothing less also switching on the monthly chart over here we can see uh, the pure bounce from this 50 over here where we did retest actually and also now also on monthly chart we are getting resistance over here on 20 monthly exponential moving average which is one very very important one why because it's on monthly chart and everybody are watching the whole picture of the Bitcoin price which means that this moving average is very very important uh, for now on weekly and on monthly chart we are getting declined from 20 weekly exponential moving average and we cannot say that we are bullish until we have been proved otherwise so to sum it up you need to watch this 200 and also 20 we need to see Bitcoin price popping on the way to the upside above this uh, 20 getting a level of support around 74 and above this 20 in order to see further movement of the way to the upside for now it's okay we do have some 
some sort of a parabolic um, parabolic recovery over here v shape but this is not how the bitcoin is actually bottoming out and you need to remember that it could also all over again retest this 5800 dollars and one of the reason is this 200 which have been retested uh, here two times and also over here we do not have the whole history but also here has been retested also two times and for now we do have only one retest in this local area over here and there is a big possibility that we will be declined from here retest this area over here and then bounce back even much more stronger that we are now so make sure you observe those levels and that will be it now this is the most simple technical analysis that we can do on this channel and as long as it's simple that means that we are much easier to determine where the bitcoin price will go so i think this is it for today ladies and gentlemen i'm very glad that we actually covered this area over here that we covered what bitcoin must do in order to see the bigger prices and what could actually happen in the next period of time so watch both scenarios also follow us on instagram twitter and tiktok because i'm uploading news and updates on the charts also on pretty much daily basis and you can also learn about technical analysis on those videos links you can find down in the comment section down below hit that like and subscribe button if you like this sort of our videos and until the next episode happy trading and goodbye